This is going to be a rip roar and jump out of your sight. Real quick, flight. It's flying on the L935. It's a very uh, slim rocket. Um, don't know what it weighs, but it's not much. It is going to go really high. we got to get it up because the waiver is going to close on us for this altitude. Uh, Coop's the rocket's going up in five, four, three, two, one. Good luck. Jerome's rocket's going up in five, four, three, two, one. Shoot, nice job. This rocket only weighs seven and a half pounds. He's expecting 18,000 feet of altitude. Uh, Justin, good luck. You ready? Good, let's set it up in five, four, three, two, one. Dead. We got it, right, goes. Laura, so we're going to try it again. Let's send the chrome dome, up, chrome dome up in five, four, three, two, one. There ain't no justice, is there? A rocket with no knee on a C6 in five, four, three, two, one. On pad 24, Chris White from Wichita is going to find an intruder on an E9. Chris's rocket is going up in five, four, three, two, one. Shoot, nice flight. The hardest part of the whole ground. Oh, yeah. Orange blast on the G eighty going like in five, four, three, two, one. It's Pad 37, William Mann from Lincoln, Nebraska with his Lock Precision Graduator on the H128. Five, five, four, three, two, one. JT, here we go at five, four, three, two, one. Good. Cal Amons from Tawanda, Kansas, just up the road a bit, is going to do his level two cert flight. Cal's rocket's going up. Hey, Cal, where are you? Right here. You got a prefect watching? So. Good. Good luck, man. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, dude. I'm not. Holy smoke. It's still directly above me. It's a 20-pound rocket. It's going up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're convinced it's not going to go. Right over here. That's rocket coming down on the north side. Yeah, it's almost down. If you don't have any bruises, it didn't hit you. If it's not your rocket, do not touch it. I hope. In a five, five, four, three, two, one. Tim Wood from Olathe, Kansas, is going to fly a giant leap rocket called Escape Velocity. That's a great name. It's a four and a half pound rocket going to fly in an H-123. This is a Cert 1 flight, so good luck. Let's send it up in five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. I've got a report that there was a couple of large rockets that had been spotted. Uh, this is going to fly a full cat. It's called a Nuclear Power Cat. Let's send this up in five, four, three, two, one. Good luck. Oops. Oh, it even had a purple flame to it. Big shoe. That's a big red shoe. Yeah. More choice of words, perhaps. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, we might have to call you back yeah. so we get things Let's send David's rocket up in five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Uh, Tim Rutherford from Topeka, Kansas, is going to fly his stretch-filled rocket. It's called Eagle Three. 
and the nose tone recovers separately, so don't all scream, oh, it came apart, because it's supposed to. So Craig's Rocket's going to go, and we wish you all the luck in the world in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Starting descent. Starting descent. Descending. 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 Event. Yeah, we have an event. Something. I can't see through the smoke. It looks like it's going to be right between those two poles. The two telephone poles, actually closer to the one. Oh, oh, damn. The, the only telephone so line within about three, three miles. God. <laughs> Why are we calling this a heads up? Because last time I landed in the parking lot. That's a good reason. Okay, but we're going to call a heads up right on this. This means you have to get out of your chair. I can't push the button. It's going in five, four, three, two, one. See ya. What? I got a small drogue shoot. Right? Yeah. The sheet is not really inflated correctly. Stay away from it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to need to keep an eye on it. It's still smoking. Five to one, it hits the wire. Ooh! 66. 66?